Innate immunity is the body's first natural defense to an intruders and presents a rich repertoire of receptors that recognize and bind to molecules on the pathogen surface. This activates complex signaling cascades, often followed by the induction of inflammation. Among these receptors, node-like receptors, NLRs, are intracellular and capable of initiating and regulating several signaling pathways of innate immunity. 22 NLRs are present in humans, but only 10 are well studied. The main innate immune models, the fruit fly and roundworm, show limitations to study this family. Surprisingly, NLR families are more diverse in many corals and anemones, which are considered as some of the earliest diverging animals. A study from the Centre Scientifique de Monaco identified anemone NLRs to be regulated during a bacterial infection. These findings led to a new line of research focusing on the role of NLRs in the innate immunity of the sea anemone Exaptasia pallida and how it translates to humans. Hello, my name is Ilaria Perriu. I'm a first year student of the MARES program and an intern at the Centre Scientifique de Monaco. From March to June, I've been working side by side with my supervisor, the senior scientist Francois Seneca, on the project investigating the function of NLRC3 like in the C anemone Exaptasia pallida innate immune response to a bacterial infection. I started the research program in 2017 uh, using a small C anemone to study the innate immunity of Nadeans uh, to better understand the innate immunity in humans. And this uh, research program is benefiting from a close uh, collaboration with the team of Laurent Boyer, uh, who's expert in the, um, the inflammation response and innate immunity in humans at the Centre Méditerranéen de Médecine Moléculaire. In addition, Eric Rottinger and Aldine Amel from IRCAN and Anne Dua and Laurent Boyer from Citrazem shared their expertise with us. In humans, NLRC3 is a regulatory node-like receptor that negatively regulates essential signaling pathways of innate immunity, such as TLR to NFKP pathway. Its role in Exaptasia pallida is still unknown. By using bioinformatic tools, I identified important sections of my genes of interest. NLRC3-like possesses TRAF binding motifs that can bind to a key member of the NFKB pathway, TRAF6. Some anemones TRAF6 sequences present a hydrophobic packet, important to the interaction. I therefore hypothesize that a possible interaction between NLRC3-like and TRAF6 can occur. I used human cell lines to express the anemone's protein and investigate how the anemone NLRC3-like expression influences the NFKB pathway in HEK 293T cells. In humans, NLRC3 inhibits the activation of this pathway by deubiquitinating TRAF6. Here, I investigated the anemone NLRC3 and TRAF6 potential interaction by transfecting HEK cells with four different plasmids. Among the expression plasmids, HA and LRC3 give the best Western blot results, with 500 nanograms being the best concentration for transfection efficiency, as shown by the band intensity. The GFP and LRC3 plasmid was utilized to visualize whether transfection worked in live cells using a fluorescence microscope. High number of green cells show that the transfection was successful and serve as a positive control. This is a first functional study of NLRs in Cnidarians, and many questions are still to be answered. Future students will work on further determining the function of NLR proteins and reconstructing signaling pathways of innate immunity in anemone. Results will lead to new possible interactions between proteins that will guide research in humans. I encourage the new student to apply to this project. You will learn invaluable techniques and tools in the lab, gain knowledge in immunology and molecular biology while working with experts and inspiring researchers.